Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start by adding 4 to both sides. So this get cancelled and we write this 4 as 4 once. Like this 3 divided by x minus 3 plus 1 plus 5 divided by x minus 5 plus 1 plus 17 divided by x minus 17 plus 1 plus 19 divided by x minus 19 plus 1 is equal to from these two terms we can factor out x in back left x minus 11. Now we can write the denominator of this one 1 and we take LCM of x minus 3 in 1 that is x minus 3 and 3 plus x minus 3 will become x plus in the same way we can write the denominator 1 and we take LCM of x minus 5 and 1 that is x minus 5 and 5 plus x minus 5 will become x plus uh, we can write the denominator 1 and we take LCM that is x minus 17 and 17 plus uh, x minus 17 will become x plus uh, we write the denominator 1 and we take LCM that is x minus 19 19 plus x minus 19 will become x and we move this expression to the left hand side this will become negative x times x minus 11 is equal to 0. Now from all these terms we can factor out x. In back left 1 over x minus 3 plus 1 over x minus 5 plus 1 over x minus 17 plus 1 over x minus 19 and from this term in bracket left negative x plus 11 is equal to 0. Now from here either this expression x is equal to 0 or this expression 1 over x minus 3 plus 1 over x minus 5 plus 1 over x minus 17 plus 1 over x minus 19 minus x plus 11 is equal to 0. Now this is the first value of x, this is the first solution of this equation. Now from this expression we combine these two terms uh, 1 over x minus 3 and 1 over x minus 19 and we combine these two terms uh, 1 over x minus 5 and uh, 1 over x minus 17. So this will become 1 over x minus 3 plus uh, 1 over x minus 19 plus uh, 1 over x minus 5 plus uh, 1 over x minus 17 minus x plus uh, 11 is equal to 0. So from these two denominators we take LCM that is x minus 3 times x minus 19. When we divide this LCM by this x minus 3, we get x minus 19 times this one x minus 19 plus uh, LCM divided by x minus 19 is x minus 3. So x minus 3 times 1 x minus 3 plus uh, we take LCM of uh, these two terms uh, that is x minus 5 times uh, x minus 17 and uh, when we divide this by this x minus 5 we get uh, x minus 17 plus uh, 
When we divide this LCM by this x minus 17, we get to x minus 5. Minus x plus 11 is equal to 0. So this x plus x will become 2x and negative 19 minus 3, negative 22 divided by we expand this expression this will become x squared minus 22 times x plus 57 plus this x plus x will become 2 times x negative 17 minus 5 will become negative 22 divided by we expand this expression this will become x squared minus 22 times x plus 85 minus x plus 11 is equal to 0. Now from these two terms we can factor out 2 times x minus 11 and in back left back left 1 divided by x squared minus 22 times x plus 57 plus 1 divided by x squared minus 22 times x plus 85 and this negative x plus 11 can be written as minus x minus 11 is equal to 0. Now this uh, x minus 11 is a common factor, so we factor out this uh, x minus 11. And the uh, in back left, uh, back left uh, 2 times uh, 1 divided by x squared minus uh, 22 times x plus uh, 57 plus uh, 1 divided by x squared minus 22 times x plus 85 minus 1 is equal to 0. Now from here you get this expression x minus 11 is equal to 0 or this expression is equal to 0. So, we move this in negative 1 to the right hand side, this will become 2 times 1 divided by x squared minus 22 times x. This 57 can be written as plus 71 minus 14 plus 1 divided by x squared minus 22 times x this 85 is same as plus 71 plus 14 is equal to this negative 1 will become positive 1 from this equation we get the second solution x2 is equal to 11 so for now we have two solutions x is equal to 0 and x is equal to now from this equation we suppose that that x squared minus 22 times x plus 71 is equal to y so this will become 2 times 1 over y minus 14 plus 1 over y plus 14 is equal to 1. Next, 2 times. We take the LCM of these two denominators. That is y minus 14 times y plus 14. This LCM divided by y minus 14 is y plus 14 plus uh, this LCM divided by y plus 14 is uh, y minus 14 
is equal to 1 this negative 14 will be considered with this positive 14 and this 1y plus 1y will become 2y divided by this y minus 14 times the y plus 14 will become y squared minus 14 squared times this 2 is equal to 1 now 2 times 2y will become 4y divided by y squared minus this 14 squared will become 196 is equal to 1. Now this implies that uh, y squared minus uh, 196 is equal to 4 times y move this 4y to the left hand side and this uh, negative 196 to the right hand side this will become y squared minus 4 times y 196 and from here we add 4 to both sides so this is a perfect square and this will become y minus 2 whole squared is equal to 196 plus 4 is 200 and from here we take square root of both sides so this square will be considered with this square root and we are left with the y minus 2 is equal to plus minus this square root of 200 is same as square root of 100 times 2 next y is equal to this negative 2 will become positive 2 at right hand side plus minus this 100 square root will become 10 times root 2 now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that x squared minus 22x plus 71 is equal to y we have supposed that uh, x squared minus uh, 22 times x plus uh, 71 is equal to y so this will become x squared minus 22 times x plus uh, 71 is equal to 2 plus minus 10 times root 2 we subtract uh, 71 from both sides so this get cancelled and we are left with x squared minus 22 times x is equal to 2 minus 71 will become negative 69 plus minus 10 times root 2 x x squared this negative 22x can be written as negative 2 times x times 11 to make this a perfect square we add here 11 squared or 121 is equal to negative 69 plus minus 10 times root 2 since we have added 121 at left hand side so we add 121 with the right hand side and this will become x minus 11 whole squared is equal to 121 minus 69 will become 52 plus minus 10 times root 2 now we take a square root of both sides so this square will be considered with this square root and we are left with x minus 11 is equal to plus minus the square root of 52 plus minus 10 times root 2 so we move this negative 11 to the right hand side so this will become x is equal to 11 plus minus the square root of 52 plus minus 10 times root 2 the first we found the value of x 
is equal to 0 and x is equal to 11. So, these are the final solutions of x.